Judging by where it's docked, it must be heading for Central Starskip Haven. Nice. We'll be safe there. <laughs> Come on. Let's climb aboard. Okay. I re I redo the mistake. But I have to say that you have a skip catching if you actually saw them already. But I guess I'm not gonna take pixel of her anytime soon. Question if you mean I have to redo all in the last half an hour? It's getting late. Where to now? Really? This is what we call us here. You call us us. You call us here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, forgive my forgetfulness. Glad you came. It's great to have one of the General's distinguished guests helping us out. My Realm Keeping Commission colleagues failed to provide adequate care for the Dragon Lady. I'd like to thank you on behalf of all of them for rescuing her back in Exulting Sanctum Plaza. As I'm sure you're aware, symptoms of Mara have been spreading ever since the Stellaron incident occurred. Thanks to the Ten Lords Commission, being stricken with Mara had long since become a terrifying but avoidable fate for Sienjo natives. The puzzling thing is that despite the Commission's protection, we're now seeing an increase. More and more citizens, in particular those dealing with great risks and stress like the Cloud Knights, are becoming stricken with Mara. Moreover, the Mara struck have taken on a horrifying appearance. As if they're turning into some sort of monster. This certainly differs from what I thought I knew about the illness. We wouldn't have the audacity to trouble you with that. The General has a plan to suppress the illness. You're a capable person, and since the General entrusted you with locating the Stellaron, it's only a matter of time before you run into Marastruck. If you come across any clues, remember to inform the Realm Keeping Commission straight away. My colleagues and I will handle any situation with haste and to the best of our ability. Speaking of which, have you made any discoveries so far? the letter what is she I'll be honest with you I've got no idea how to handle this problem it's beyond the realm keeping Commission's jurisdiction I contacted the seat of divine foresight which is overseen by the general allow me to introduce madam Ching Zhu general Jing Yuan's chief counselor I think it'll be easier if she explains the letter to you Hmm. 
I read the letter you obtained from the Marastrak. While the Cloud Knights were searching for the Stellaron's whereabouts, I was carrying out the General's orders, tracking down clues on the Marastrak. Thanks to your efforts, we now have a lead. To an outsider, this letter appears to be nothing more than good news detailing a recovery from a chronic illness. However, what is actually being discussed is a violation of the Ten Unpardonable Sins. It's heresy. Correct. The term Merciful Medicus is one of respect. One that any law-abiding citizen of the Alliance would never dare utter. It refers to none other than the enemy of the people of the Xianzhou. The one we now call the Plague's Author. The Eon of Abundance. Yao Shi. Wait, isn't Abundance kind of good? If I remember right. Oh wait, they are with the, the hunt, not with the Abundance. The author of this letter was likely the Marastruck you defeated. My guess is he was led astray and poisoned while under the pretext of being cured. You saw how he ended up. Such actions remind me of an organization that was eradicated from the Sienjo a thousand years ago. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. They were disciples of the Abundance that sought to restore the way of immortality by unearthing a forbidden remedial formula. It's hard to believe that a group that was wiped out so long ago would suddenly rear its head and create chaos once more. The seat of divine foresight needs to learn all it can about this organization's status before the situation reaches a point of no return. If you come across any similar clues about the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, come and find me at the seat of divine foresight. These kinds of first-hand accounts are exactly what we require. Don't worry. The Seed of Divine Foresight always rewards those who contribute to our efforts. I recently received some intel. It seems that certain individuals are taking advantage of the current chaos to lure in outworlders around Exalting Sanctum. Maybe you could start there? We sent an undercover investigator out a few months ago. They provided us with a rough idea of the situation. Unfortunately, it seems suspicions were aroused. We lost contact with the agent. I suspect he was discovered. You are a fresh face in the Lafu, and an outworlder. I would feel more at ease if I could leave this matter with you. Is this part of the main story, or I did did I activate one on accident? No, I think this is the main one. Excuse me, guest from another world. Please spare me a moment of your time. Do you yearn for immortality? Excellent. Who would turn down the opportunity to live forever? The Sienjo doesn't care one bit about the well-being of short-life species. They stubbornly blockade the glorious path to immortality. Buddy, the fox can live for 100 or 200. Actually, what? Are you an elf? Let me... Uh, pet dog. Yeah, you're an elf. My name is Green Hibiscus. I came to Exalting Sanctum in hopes of a fated encounter with one such as yourself. One who is also on the road to immortality. Hibiscus? And Helotis, how do you know side? What do you say? How about we find a more suitable spot to talk about all this? Let's make haste. There are too many people here to linger. Here we are. This is the place. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If it were so easy, we'd be a far larger group, and there'd be no need for secrecy. 
Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I was unable to expose my true identity in Exalting Sanctum, but now I can reveal everything. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus is a devout group, holding firm in their belief that Merciful Medicus is the one ultimate faith. As followers, we refer to ourselves as disciples, dedicated to our cause. If you wish to gain the means to immortality, then you must become a disciple. But to become a disciple, you must first pass several small trials. Please excuse me. Our expansion has unfortunately attracted the attention of those devilish archer followers. If we are not careful, the consequences could be unthinkable. So the harmony, or not the harmony, the abundance and hunter, they don't get along. And what is a god doing here? How come, how come I ask the same question? No need to be concerned about him. Much like yourself, he is here to undergo the trials. <laughs> Only those led astray by followers of the devilish archer could despise merciful Medicus. Sadly, there are many such people. Too many. What you seek, you will surely find. Merciful Medicus is magnanimous. They do not lightly refuse a prayer. As such, the initiation trials for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus are nothing arduous. All you must do is transcribe this copy of Thousand-Handed Merciful Medicus's Salvation 500 times by hand. This will allow your brothers and sisters to trust your faith and you to become a disciple. Are you kidding me? And aren't we supposed to, you know, try to interrogate Kafka or at least Sadat? Why are we now doing side quests? This scripture is central to the disciples. You must maintain a pious heart during the transcription. It would be best if you could memorize the text. Of course, this is but the first trial. Once you have become a disciple, you will undergo numerous others. Don't worry. A traditional Sienjo brush and ink stone has been prepared for you. Smooth action and an ergonomic design. I myself transcribed 50,000 copies with such instruments. Hey, we gonna... What are you doing? Are you okay? Stop writing! Get over here! Huh? <sighs> Took you long enough. I know you. You're General Jingyuan's honored guest! Wait a second. You're here undercover, right? So am I. I'm a cloud knight from the Exalting Sanctum Garrison. 
That green hibiscus has been sneaking around spreading heretical lies for a while now. That's why I'm here, to spy on him. They were suspicious of me as soon as I arrived. It took a lot of effort to make them believe I wanted to become a disciple. <laughs> I have my reasoning. Cults like this want to recruit people with influence in law and order. I wanted them to know I was a cloud knight. Always know your enemy. Why do I feel like Sampo is under that helmet? No, he's not him. But I can feel it. He kind of has the voice. Shh! Keep your voice down! These disciples don't miss much. If they discover us, we won't make it out of here. <sighs> you can trust me with the transcription. I spent over 150 years pen pushing in the seat of divine foresight before I became a cloud knight. I could do this in my sleep. 150? Really? How long can these people live? Listen carefully. I help you copy the text, you cover for me, and I get word out to the seat of divine foresight. I mean, we can barely live up to 100, but for them 150 is gonna feel some more small potatoes. Oh, hey, um, we don't have anything yield intention. Take your time, still your mind, and transcribe the text. Allow the beautiful enlightenment of thousand-handed merciful Medicus's salvation to permeate your being. You're finished? So soon? Let me see. Ah. Huh. Yes, it would appear you are finished. A fast and accurate transcription. It seems you are destined for immortality. Um, why are there two of them? Calm yourself. The initiation is divided into two steps. You and the Cloud Knight have completed the first. Now, only the second remains. Sure, but can it wait till tomorrow? I'm supposed to be on duty right now. They'll get suspicious if I don't head back soon. No need to worry. The second step is extraordinarily simple. It'll all be over soon enough. The Disciples' initiation is governed by the following principle. Never accept who you suspect, and never suspect who you accept. So, it's time for you two to battle it out. Whoever survives will officially become a Disciple. Say what? Excellent. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus love enthusiastic new blood. Well then, show us what you're made of. Whoa, 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 you're kidding, right? We came here to lengthen our lifespans, not shorten them. You can't just make us fight like this. We aren't forcing you to fight. By all means, refuse if you wish. But we won't possibly be able to let either of you leave. I... Mm, fine, fine, but at least let me prepare? I've never done anything like this before. Very well, but you'll need to ask your opponent, too. Good. Then prepare yourselves. Time is precious. Make it quick. Well, this time, that is 180. Listen, I have an idea that will let you join the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus and let me get the heck out of here in one piece. You and I fight, and I lose to you. I pretend that you finish me off. Then you pretend to help them remove my body by dragging me out of here. That way, we both accomplish our objectives. Oh, um, <clears throat> I've seen your skills. Um, please don't mess up and actually kill me. I ain't gonna die. Oh, just 
Ugh, whatever, I got myself into this. Let fate decide, just try and hold back a little, okay? So, have you prepared yourselves? Are you ready to fight? And you, Cloud Knight? <laughs> I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm ready. Then, let's begin. Well then, take this! Oh, we actually fight. I thought he's gonna be off screen or something. Oh boy, I feel sorry for him. <laughs> A thousand wonders to fight as one! Lance at the ready. <laughs> Honored to meet me. Go forward, yeah. What magnificent skill! He was fierce, but no match for you. I'm glad you prevailed. That Cloud Knight waltzed straight up to us in uniform and asked if he could join. Hardly a convincing spectacle. I doubt I ever could have trusted him. Purple Chrysanthemum, Blue Peach. Find somewhere to dispose of the body. Oh, you've dealt with this kind of thing before? A long time associate, eh? You're well connected, I see. Hmm. This does have its advantages. Our brothers and sisters have been proselytizing and exalting sanctum over the last few days. We may have attracted the attention of the devils. Having you dispose of the Cloud Knight will be safer. As such, this can be your first mission as a disciple. You take an active approach to getting things done. I'll be sure to pass that on to my superiors. In any case, my hearty congratulations on your admission to the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. From now on, you will be known by the code name Grey Peony. Well, Grey Peony, let's depart separately to avoid attracting attention. We'll rendezvous at a different location later. Until then. <gasps> I did a good job playing dead, didn't I? <laughs> oh, you're alive. Those people are out of their minds. Watch your step next time you're around them. Wait, you... You weren't holding back? Sorry. Uh, enough with the jokes already. It's a miracle either of us is alive. I should report back to the seat of divine foresight. Stay safe, friend. Well, this was fun. Okay, let me see the time. I think I have time for a little bit. Who's calling me now? 